This year at the Super Bowl, the stadium hired a hard of hearing ASL interpreter for the halftime show. This has never happened in previous years and is considered an immense step towards equality for the deaf community. One reason this has never happened before is because hearing people thought that members of the deaf community did not want to watch the halftime show, when in reality they did. Hi, my name is Emily Smarmel. And this misunderstanding between cultures begs the question, how has the lack of cultural knowledge affected the deaf community in the United States in the last 20 years? To shed some light on a few of the cultural differences between what hearing people believe and what is reality is that a deaf people that uh, deaf people identify uh, as deaf culturally, meaning that someone who is deaf with a capital D identify are medically deaf, but also they identify as such culturally and are oftentimes extremely proud of it. Deaf people with a lowercase d are just medically deaf and don't identify as such culturally. Uh, do not assume that be just because a person is medically deaf that they see themselves as broken, not whole, or only half of a person. They are not deaf and dumb, they are not hearing impaired, and they are not deaf and mute. Uh, they have their own views, languages, and culture. Because of this lack of understanding about the deaf community, because of this lack of understanding about the deaf community, in the United States, it affects the deaf community in many ways, including challenges in research about the deaf community, lack of access to mental health resources, and higher rates of dating violence. This lack of understanding previously mentioned can, do, can cause challenges in doing your research for the deaf community. For example, well, uh, for example, when people who have come together, it has become readily apparent that they are not the linguistically incompetent and handicapped people or that the medical model would have predicted. Deaf people around the world have their own indigenous their own indigenous languages. Is which are the products of their association, their desire to communicate, and their creative exploitation of the visual modality be to convey information. Unfortunately, this difference, as deaf creative, creative languages are signed, not spoken, has also been received negatively. This shows that this shows how people who are deaf have a passion and desire to communicate to the point of creating amazing languages such as. ASL, LSF, BAN, ZSL, and so many more. Sadly, these languages have been received, not been received well by hearing people. It conflicts with the middle class culture that says that people who are deaf or have any kind of handicap are less than a full, whole person. This leads us to assume ignorance and our childlike thinking and incompetence on the part of the deaf person. We are also led to believe that at such persons need to be taken care of and that the good ones will help those poor deaf people. This negative perception of the deaf community can and does affect an individual's mental health. With depression affecting any given per deaf person's mental health, there is a need for mental health resources. Psychologists are significantly harder to get access to for deaf people and are compared to a psychologist or a hearing person. In the 1950s, it was even harder. There were fewer than 10 psychologists and zero psychiatrists in the United States with a full time commitment to deaf and hard of hearing people. Thankfully, we have come a long way from that. More recently, psychologists that want to work with deaf people must take into consideration the hardships their deaf client may face every day and how that may affect their personalities and responses to a given situation. Deaf individuals who experience oppression may be affected by feelings of isolation, shame, and self-doubt. On the other hand, they may develop pride, resilience, and independence in spite of oppression. This is a huge improvement with psychologists being required to take into account of the oppression any deaf individual may face and how it affects their mental health, including their resilience. Resilience can be an amazing thing, but too much can also be a bad thing.
College Board provided state annulus that arcs their resilience, too much resilience could make people overly tolerant of adversity. Because of all the hardships a person may face, they can become too tolerant of, of bad situations they are put into. Additionally, they may have a hard time accepting how wrong a situation is and that they should be working to get out of situations like that. Take, for example, abusive relationships. Deaf and hard of hearing people have significantly higher rates of being in abusive relationships compared to hearing people. In a poll of 160 Stenley College students from Gallaudet University, 7% stated that abuse was occurring in their current relationship, 44% stated that abuse happened in a past relationship, and the rest reported not experiencing abuse. In a similar study, in a similar study by Johnston McCabe in 2011, it was discovered that 71% of deaf and hard of hearing women and experienced various kinds of abuse from their partners. 56.5 experienced physical abuse, 30.4 experienced uh, life-threatening abuse, 26.1 experienced uh, sexual abuse, and the rest reported not experiencing abuse. In support of this, culturally deaf people who use ASL as their native language have very similar to those who do not read, write, or speak English. Limited ability, uh, ASL is a language that differs from English in its structure and grammar. Limited ability to communicate with professionals in the English speaking world will, may, lead to the limited, may lead to limited visibility in the social and political systems, thus greatly limiting access and effectiveness of interve interve interventions in abusive relationships. This sheds some light on another issue the deaf community faces, a language barrier. With a lack of people who know ASL, it can feel sort of like you're an immigrant with this language barrier. This can make it harder for a police to intervene in abusive relationships and in turn harder for the abused to get arrested and for the abused to get out of that situation. With the negative stigma surrounding disabilities and the terrible results of that stigma, uh, abuse can add another stressor to one's life. All this is to show is that deaf people have it rough, and hearing society not understanding their culture just adds to the stress of their life. Deaf people, their length, culture, experiences, and way of life are different, but it is theirs and should not be disregarded or treated as irrelevant. As Franz Boas said, he must adapt his mind so far as feasible to that of the people who he is studying. The more successful he is in freeing himself from the bias that constitute the civilization in which he lives, the more successful he will be in interpreting the beliefs and actions of man. He must follow lines of thought that are new to him. He must participate in, in new emotions and understand how, uh, how, in under unwanted conditions, growth lead to actions. Beliefs, customs, and the response of the individual to the event of daily life it gives us ample opportunity to observe the manifestations of the mind of man under varying conditions. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry there's not more people here to applaud. <laughs> First question, uh, how did your research question evolve as you moved through the process? Originally, I wanted to do something on a completely different subject on the uh, ASA era community in the LGBTQ plus community. But there wasn't enough research on that, so I couldn't do it and have a strong enough argument. So I switched to my second topic that I wanted to try, and that was the deaf community, because it's also another topic that I'm fairly passionate about. Okay. And uh, if you had more time, what additional research would you do? I would have gone further into uh, dating life, probably, because it... There's a lot of other factors that just play into it, not specifically just abuse, because a lot of people, when they're looking for a mate, they are wanting a fully functioning and normal person. And deaf people are oftentimes considered very broken and not whole and sad. 